adjetivos para que puedan describir la ciudad. Aparte de los típicos adjetivos que usualmente, eh, usualmente empleamos, vamos a en esta ocasión usar eh, unos adjetivos un poco distintos para enriquecer sobre todo el vocabulario. Muy bien. We're going to have, for example, ancients, beautiful, boring, bustling, charming, contemporary, compact, cosmopolitan, crowded, exciting. Okay? So, we're going to use these words uh, during the activity of today. Vamos a ver estas palabras durante la actividad del día de hoy. Muy bien. Ok. El día de ayer estuvimos viendo, bueno, eh, realizamos una lectura, la cual nos hablaba de, let me share, de Bratislava. Ok. Es una ciudad, básicamente, que se encuentra en Eslovaquia. Ok. We're gonna look a video. Vamos a ver un video, tan solo los primer, el primer minuto. Uh, to have an idea about the city. And then we're going to read again and complete some activities uh, about the reading. Okay, this is just to look. Solamente esta parte es para... <coughs> Okay, so according to the video, we can see, uh, we can have an idea about how is 
uh, how is Bratislava in this case? Let's remember that this is the capital and the larger city of Slovakia. Es, una de las, es la capital y a su vez es una de las ciudades más grandes de Slovakia. Muy bien. I recommend you, uh, since you are students, to have, uh, to have one important achievement in your life and consider to travel around the world. Uh, in order to that, you have to learn how to use, in this case, uh, new language how to try to communicate your ideas in another language so that reasons is so important to learn english and another language during your life in order to travel to travel and also meet uh, new places you know uh, like we can see in the video we have a lot of places around the world that they are amazing and they have an, an amazing view amazing sites and also uh, could be amazing people to know. And also it's so important to know, to learn more about new cultures. Okay, entonces básicamente es muy importante tratar de aprender un idioma para poder tratar de conocer, conocer un poco más el mundo. Muy bien, entonces aquí tenemos eh, la lectura la cual está enfocada específicamente en Bratislava. Ok, como podemos observar en la imagen, y tal y como nos describieron dentro de, eh, como nos describieron dentro de la lectura, es una ciudad la cual cuenta con absolutamente todo. Y en este caso, this city has a, a modern city, and also it has its old town. Tiene tanto la parte moderna como también su parte tradicional, su parte antigua, the old town. So in this case, they say that it makes Bratislava an attractive holiday destination. Convierte esta ciudad en una ciudad muy atractiva para un buen fin de semana. Muy bien. Entonces, what else do we have? We have that there are many sites to see in Bratislava. Hay muchas vistas, muchos paisajes para poder observar en Bratislava. You can explore this amazing city by taking a boat ride to the old town to see the ruins of the big castles. Okay, so they also mention ancient ruins. Me mencionan este zonas arqueológicas o zonas o ruinas antiguas. Básicamente para hacer referencia, las estructuras, they talk about the old structures, okay? Estructuras antiguas, las cuales son muy populares, por supuesto, por la historia que hay detrás de ellas, because they have history behind them. Now, we have here some well-known attractions, algunas atracciones muy conocidas. Eh, como la clase anterior ya hemos leído, we just gonna listen, vamos a escuchar la... Eh, la lectura y por favor sigan la lectura con la vista, ¿ok? Y la finalidad de esto también es que puedan practicar un poco más la pronunciación. Ok, we just are gonna listen and then we're gonna answer some questions. Vamos a responder a algunas preguntas. Ok, las preguntas son poquísimas. Vamos a simplemente tratar de leer Otra vez, we're going to read again, and we're going to try to find adjectives in the text, which are similar meaning to these adjectives, que tienen un significado similar a los adjetivos que podemos ver en pantalla. Ok, dentro de la lectura, vamos a buscar un adjetivo que tenga un significado similar a biggest, otro adjetivo que tenga un significado similar a new, another about beautiful, famous, and Great. Okay, so let's listen and read. Two. Read. Is a description that a student wrote for a travel magazine. Does the writer like Bratislava? Listen, read, and find out. Visit Bratislava. Bratislava is the capital and largest city of Slovakia and one of the most impressive places in Europe. It is very near the Danube River, the second longest river in Europe. This modern city with its old town makes Bratislava an attractive holiday destination. There are many sights to see in Bratislava. You can explore this amazing city by taking a boat ride to the old town to see the ruins of Devon Castle 
which is perhaps one of the most well-known attractions. Art lovers can visit many galleries there, including Bratislava City Gallery and the Slovak National Gallery. There are also quite a few museums and palaces that attract thousands of tourists. You will never get bored in this city. You can visit Bratislava's Botanical Garden, where you can have a picnic or go for peaceful walks like so many locals do. As for entertainment, you can enjoy concerts and other performances. Of course, there are also lots of cafes and restaurants where you can try some traditional Slovakian food and drinks. If you go to Bratislava, you'll have a wonderful time and you will want to go there again and again. Okay, so according to the reading, did you find the adjectives? Encontraron los adjetivos correctos? Okay, me indican por aquí que sí. Muy bien, so in the part one we have biggest, right? So we have here biggest. I need a volunteer, necesito un voluntario. Please to number one. <laughs> okay, Evelyn, please, number one. Um, okay, and number one is largest. Good job, Evelyn. Thank you, yes. In this case, these words are synonyms. We have here largest. Now, number two, I need a volunteer for number two. We have here, new. We talk about something new, algo nuevo. In the reading, we have a synonym. Hmm. A ver, let's look. A ver, tenemos una vista a la lectura. So, we have right here. It's in the first part. Está en la primera parte, en el primer párrafo. Good job, Evelyn. So, did you find them? Okay. Biggest, largest, new. For something new, what is going to be the synonym? I need a volunteer. Yes, good job. Yadira, please, number two. Mother. Yes, new, it's going to be modern, correct? Now, number three, we have beautiful, that it's again in the first part, que también se encuentra en la primera parte de la lectura. So, we have a here, beautiful. Which word, which attractive? Yes, could be impressive. Which word is going to be the synonym? Mm -hmm. Okay, so we have here biggest, largest, new, modern, and for beautiful. I need a volunteer. Let me call Sandro. Uh, impressive. Mm, yes, could be impressive. Mm, we have also attractive in this case. Attractive. Sí, van a ser sinónimos, no se preocupen. Probablemente en la primera parte tenemos más de una palabra, impressive and attractive. Okay, so number four, famous. We have here famous, it's in the second part. What is going to be in this case? Good job, Evelyn. Mm, Anna, please. <laughs> Mm, 
for number four, Anna? Well, no. Yes, well, no. Good job. Well, no. Well, no, básicamente es un sinónimo de famous. Well, no también quiere significado de conocido, algo conocido, algo muy popular. ¿Correcto? So, number five. Great. Something great. Let's... A ver en qué párrafo está. Párrafo cuatro, si no me equivoco. Sí, párrafo cuatro. Okay, this is going to be the second part. So, what is going to be the synonym? Mm -hmm. Yeah, good job, Evelyn. Okay. Something that is great. Good job. We can say that that is something in this case. Wonderful. Good job. Something great, something wonderful. Algo maravilloso. Algo bueno, algo maravilloso. Okay, now we're going to have a listening activity. You hear another video about the topic. About a cruise, to be more specific, in London. To visit, like in the video, these trees are going to visit the River Thames in this country. <coughs> Please try to pay attention because I'm going to ask you some questions about the video. The River Thames is an integral part of London, so what better way to see this magnificent city than with a cruise along the river? All aboard! Here we go! This cruise is approximately 40 minutes traveling from the London Eye to Tower Bridge and back. Oh wow, check out the eye! We've got this amazing view of the eye, the palaces of Westminster, and the Thames leading all the way down through the city. This is extraordinary. Make some noise, guys! This is so much fun. As we're cruising up the river, our host has all these little fun facts about the things that we're seeing, the history of the bridges, the buildings. We're waving to people as we go by. This is a lot of fun. Cruising up to the pivotal moment, Tower Bridge, most photographed bridge in the world. And what better way to see it than from the river? All right, we got to wave to everybody on the bridge above us. Hello! The views are amazing. The river cruise, the commentary was so interesting. So many information. I think whatever you are a Londoner or you're not from London, it's an amazing experience. It's been a pleasure. Have a great trip. Bye, guys. That was stupendous. We cruised up the Thames. We saw all the different landmarks, St. Paul's, the Shard, the Cheese Grater, and then that Tower Bridge, so glorious, and then cruised our way back. And finishing off here, of course, at the Eye. This is perfect. Well, you're not from London. Okay, so one of the first question is, according to the video, uh, which is the best way to visit and also to see uh, the, some of the important places and also the most well-known places in London, according to the video? Which is the best way? Okay, Evelyn. Mm 
Emily. Uh, in the River Thames by Cruz. Yes, thank you. That's, that's the answer. Uh, they mentioned that one of the best ways to visit some of these places is along the river, a través del rio, or in the cruise in this case. Okay, so uh, how many minutes took this travel? They talk about the minutes. How long? Yes. How many minutes does it take? Mm, you are near and cerca. How many minutes? Nobody. How many minutes does the travel take? ¿Cuántos minutos toma ese viaje a través del río en esta ocasión? Hmm, four minutes. Are you sure? The whole travel takes four minutes. Mm, sonó un poco confuso, exacto. Eh, aparentemente dice cuatro minutos, but he said 40 minutes. 40 minutos. So it took 40 minutes from the London Bridge to the Tower Bridge in this case. Okay? So the next question is thank you also, Tirsa and Andrea for participating. Now, the next question. Uh, what does the host talk about? ¿Sobre qué habla el host en esta ocasión? El señor que podemos observar que estaba guiando a los turistas. ¿Sobre qué usualmente habla? Mencionen los temas que él les da a los turistas durante el viaje. So, what does the host talk about? Okay. Angelo? Six. Yes, he talks about the sights in this case. Habla sobre las vistas. He mentioned uh, something else. Yes, good job. He gave information of the places information he talks about the history of these places and also he give uh, the tourists some fun facts les da algunas verdades algunos datos curiosos correcto so uh, which is the most photographed bridge cuál es el puente más fotografiado Which is the most photographed bridge? The time, yeah, exactly. So the tower bridge, the job, the tower bridge in this case. Okay, so that's going to be all for the video. Now, good job. A ver, gracias a los que han participado y han estado enviando sus respuestas y tratando de intentarlo dentro del chat. Muy bien. Ahora, como pudimos observar en el video, ahora vamos a escuchar a una persona, pero en esta ocasión está llamando a una agencia de viaje. Muy bien. Solicitando información acerca de este crucero. Y quiere realizar este viaje en este crucero, como pudimos observar en el video. Primero una lista. And we're going to tick. What are the topics that are mentioned? ¿Cuáles son los temas que son mencionados dentro del eh, el audio? Okay, so listen. Three. Listen on the River Thames in London. Listen and tick the topics that are mentioned. 
Thank you for calling Thames Boat Cruises. If you would like information about our Greenwich cruise, press 1. If you would like information about our London Eye cruise, press 2. If you would like information about our Tower of London cruise, press 3. This cruise is an excellent way to experience London. The boat leaves the tower every hour. We go under Tower Bridge and we travel up the Thames past HMS Belfast and under London Bridge. There are many sights to see on the cruise and you can learn all about them by listening to our expert guide. We also have a written guide available in five languages. Sights you will see include Shakespeare's Globe Theatre, St. Paul's Cathedral, Big Ben and many more. The boat makes a stop at the London Eye for any passengers wanting to get a better look. We continue along the river until Westminster Bridge. On the return journey, you can enjoy tea and biscuits, or if you book our lunchtime special, you can enjoy a two-course meal with dessert and tea or coffee. Tickets for the Tower of London cruise cost £11 for adults and £6 for children and students. Lunchtime special tickets cost £25 or £20 for children and students. If you would like to book tickets, please wait and one of our assistants will talk to you. Okay, so do you want to listen one more time? <clears throat> Is it okay or do you want to listen one more time? Okay. Three. If you would like in Fling Thames. Thank you for calling Thames Boat Cruises. If you would like information about our Greenwich cruise, press 1. If you would like information about our London Eye cruise, press 2. If you would like information about our Tower of London cruise, Press 3. This cruise is an excellent way to experience London. The boat leaves the tower every hour. We go under Tower Bridge and we travel up the Thames past HMS Belfast and under London Bridge. There are many sights to see on the cruise and you can learn all about them by listening to our expert guide. We also have a written guide available in five languages. Sights you will see include Shakespeare's Globe Theatre, St. Paul's Cathedral, Big Ben, and many more. The boat makes a stop at the London Eye for any passengers wanting to get a better look. We continue along the river until Westminster Bridge. On the return journey, you can enjoy tea and biscuits, or if you book our lunchtime special, you can enjoy a two-course meal with dessert and tea or coffee. Tickets for the Tower of London cruise